We have Giganta as our companion, that's really cool. Then it's the Insidious Roots combo deck, let's say. Seems like we are indeed up against vampires. <clears throat> One end. Probably reading my Tivar. Drew a land, but we milled over a Forsaken Miner, so that's useful. Mm, it's relevant for my priest later on. Although, of course, my opponent just plays a Blood Tide Harvester. That is trouble because then they have a removal spell at the ready for my priest, and I can draw another land which my high synergy deck will struggle with. So having the Tyvar discarded in this guild is a little bit bad and I'm drawing two lands because what I, all I'm left with is two suppliers. We need to draw something good, chat. Now, had they not fought with me, we actually would have been in an awesome spot. Holy fuck, they're attacking. Even without Fortis, we lose to Sorin Reaper, though, they have it. How come I have the... Priest active, so I start activating Priest and they sacrifice, so... Vain Reaper in no time, I take some damage, but... Let's play Swarm, because we have a... Forsaken Miner... To return... They suck Blood Tithe. Then I activate again, brother. They have to suck Blood Tithe to kill the priest. So, it would work out just fine. They do play 4 drops. <laughs> and Preacher of the Schism. He's a phenomenal. No schisming player. on my watch. Kurwa, no, jakbym dobrał w drostepie coś innego niż pierdolnego Londa, to byśmy mogli grać, nie? Ale nie możemy. Modern Horizons 3 releases tomorrow at 7 p.m. EU time. Maze Mind Tome. Cool body. Awesome, awesome card, really. Really impressed by, by this one. He's a phenomenal control player. 17 os month os. Night for it, Zagra Giganta. We'll see, maybe I'll make it so that I stream that challenge actually. Right after MH3. With Nadwall or Eldrazis. Fetal push. Am I being aggressive here? What are my draws otherwise? I could draw Exol Cauldron. Roots with the Death Rite Shaman a little bit. I think I should be aggressive. If I want to win. Maybe they'll block this, that's gonna be pre-solved. Maybe they'll double block the Giganta. Oh cool, the charm block. Well, I'm glad I attacked. Any reason to play my land? I don't think there is one. Lively dirges are mailed.
Because Liliana is occasionally played. Probably better to keep the land in hand for Liliana to save my push. Would like to possibly trigger a revolt with it. Oh, although villain is possibly gaining four more life with Maze Mind Tome. Draw four, gain four. Holy shit. For a mere eight mana. What a broken card. And people play Bankbuster over that. That's just wrong. So my good draws are Roots. I think Roots is a good draw. Roots, Cauldron, Tivar. Yeah. Tak Numa, it's Tivar. So if I draw another land, there is a reason to play my land for Takenuma Tek Tivar options. If I want to make a land drop in the same turn, I guess like so saving two lands in a hand wouldn't have been good <clears throat> for that reason. Also, Denial, Kyori Pinjoshim, Grim, thank you very much for your Resubscriptions, I appreciate those. Kurwa, no dobierz sobie kartę z tego, nie? Toma, co ty tam myślisz? Powiem, to stack mid paying cost for their Tom draw. I don't know if they will beat that MTG Overland. Has lost connection to the game, I guess that explains the situation a bit more. In the meantime, MH3 5k RCQ won by Hacking Mill. First MH3 event held in paper. No new cards, not a single thought given to new cards mill. Nice deck. Oh, we're back. Congrats to the winner. Well, everyone is putting the MH3 cards into their decks so that this guy could have just flipped them over. Second place, Timur Prowess. Granted, you know, getting hold of new cards on the release weekend, pre-release weekend even, is kind of impossible, so I don't fault them, although this Timur Prowess deck is playing a Ketria Trium. Oh, wow. The, doesn't it play the blue land from MH3? Mail? Blue land? No. I don't know what are we talking about actually even. What's a blue land from MH3? Alright, firing off that push before the duress resolves. Maybe my opponent will just die to Giganta Beats. I do take 9. Then they gain four, and then they go to five. Bitter triumph, discarding Sulforos Springs. Okay, okay, priest is not a bad draw. Oh, uh, well, Mill could play Cephal Coliseum, but the player in question did not play Cephal Coliseum. To put it this way. Well, they'll gain a shit ton of life. Plus, they can sacrifice Mutavolt, then they can copy Shouldred. Hmm. So, probably I'll gain life instead. Rather than dealing damage to them at this point. <clears throat> with my DRS. Tedious Roots. Now, that goes somewhere. So we play Roots. Probably should have played a Green Pathway last turn. Oh well. I XL Giganta to gain two life and make plants.
Then I'll... I probably want to keep the Shaman. So you sacrifice. I sacrifice the Miner. And the Plant. I commit a crime. I return the Miner. I trigger life insidious roots. Make a plant. Draw a card. And you sacrifice a thing. Alright, so it's like either shoulder door or reflection now. That's nice. You didn't want to activate Muta Valuta. And let's draw a cauldron. That would be awesome. Or Tivar. Or Overground fucking tomb. Yeah. Why not? Overground tombing over there. And we're building towards something. Probably will chum block to save my life points. Well, just insta blood token, so they probably have just two lands in hand too. When does modern get real model again tomorrow? It's tomorrow evening. So Wednesday really. Yeah, I'll block because I think the life points are valuable. If they push my priest, I'll cry. I am crying. Oh, second miner now. That is useless. At least... At least, I don't know. At least the hive. I guess it just, it's just what not gonna exile a creature. The only cowboy packed out by the lake. So at least I can't exile my priests. I have two anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'll take it. I appreciate the hive not attacking. I'll just... Build a few plants. Seems good if I draw a cauldron too. Supplier. I think supplier can hit like anything too crazy, unfortunately. Sliverhead. So the miners have to attack. Rather, they can't block, so they will attack. And I think I want to counter on a plant. Skyvenge. That makes even more plants. This is going to be a 3 4 plant. And we can block Shoulder now. Deathrite Shaman life gain outpaces the life loss from Joldred. And by outpaces, I mean paces. I can still keep attacking on the miners. I more miners. That's not very good. Maybe I can attack with a four, five, four, five plant. Probably. Okay. I can use Shaman to... So, I mean, I guess, of course, if they draw a Vayne Reaper, I'll die. Pretty badly. So, I should be trying to kill them. 
Fail pushing the... The upright shaman. Oh, since he drew fatal push, I will gain life. Need the life. It's gonna trigger roots, but there's no crime, which means that that's all it's gonna do. Exalt their creature. Yeah, that would have been better. I swear that's what I should have done. Then you then I get both triggers. Whoops. Slitherhead is a, it's a just step for sure. Jeden, dva. So can have three blockers. Holy shit, now we're getting combat now. <sighs> How do we attack? And keep three blockers back. To live. Having an extra miner would have maybe made a difference, so pretty big mistake. Activate, block, block, take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They get two good blocks. Activate, block, block, take 5. My attacks are not particularly great. Take with a 3-4. Eat this. Eat this, take 7. Take with a 2 free. Block this. Block this. Block this. Take 7. The second Muta Vault is pretty easy for them to expand. <coughs> I will attack with those. Because the Forsaken Miner being in my graveyard actually does a little bit too. Does something. But yeah, I can't really have them draw a Vein Reaper ever. They likely will find one. At some point. Villains at 14. How am I ever supposed to? Well, that kills me because Mutavolt shoots me. For free, I take a draw step, I am dead. Cool. I say cool, but I actually don't think it is particularly cool. Slitherhead was my draw step too, so a card about to absolutely dominate. I think if we like top decked another engine card ever, would have done an okay job, but that's the risk of playing a deck like this. You might just not do that. Lively there, just a Pretty decent top deck too, I guess I milled them both earlier. <clears throat> and we're up against Vampiros, which will potentially have ley lines. I don't actually want to draw a fail push all that much. I think I'll just have two. Maybe three my dirge, it's weak to versus graveyard height. This is a pretty valuable card though. Yeah. Well yeah, let's cut one. We're gonna have one two top deck. Oh Twitch shot us. What a battle that was. I've seen a list of this deck playing Rubble Belt Maverick too, which is a Low quality card, but it does offer you the ability to surveil too, which He's a phenomenal control might player. be quite desirable. 
I keep seven. And I lead on the mortuary. Pod rules, thank you very much for this sub. I appreciate your support. Two dogs and two mavericks. The limited dogs. Makes sense. I'll play the priest, like some argument for not playing into a push, but with Tivar I think I will. 1-1 one, one, Surveil Menace. Yeah, the dog, yeah. Unlicensed hairs. R.I.P. Keep my might in my graveyard. Priest is gone and it is really sad, but that's the life we live in. Sorin. Into vain repair. Well, we have a perfect answer. Because of the Muta Vault, I will leave it on top now. <sighs> it's Slitherhead actually based? Not really, I think. It was hardly based, but it did get rid of this sorry, real good. Gatha's Soul Cauldron. Smell something good. Scavenge Zero works on another doll. Holy shit. I only mill two lands and they pick your poison and we got a haywire might. Fair. And gain all activated abilities of Vein Reaper. Unfortunately, they'll be able to just kill my Tivar by activating Muta Valutas. Also, Bumsing, yes, I did start with Return to Ravnica. Yeah, activate ward, question mark. You know what it's like, maybe needs it needs like daily disputes. To actually draw into the combo pieces. And have good top decks. Yeah. Did my intro deck have slither head? It did not, no. I we bought Is it versus Golari and I played Golari. Is it? My friend played Golari. Is it not choice to like do it instead of just attacking maybe? Yeah, this thing just needs deadly dispute. That's what it needs. Other Tivar. I mean, I don't have anything. But I can find something. Minor Shaman Might. Nice. So I can get Shaman. Now, 
I can commit a crime by exiling the Muta Vault. Return Miner. And if I put a counter on that Miner, it's gonna be able to use the abilities. So my Tiver will die. That's tough luck. Oh, that's awkward because I have to do it at sorcery speed. Because the crime triggers first and then I add the mana. Guess. Why now? Well, I just started clicking it. Once I started, I had to keep on clicking. But if you commit a crime with Death Rite Shaman's ability, then you like first commit a crime, so you want you have to pay to return it, and then you get the mana. That was my only crime source, because the Cauldron was going to exile my own Shaman. Yeah, I could have this on top to chump block the tip, but I like as as I said, once I said once I clicked, I already had to do it. So I thought I'll get the mana to pay first, but I don't. But I guess it is a bit awkward that like now I have put the counter here and I could like have a counter on this. I get, I get it, I get it, I get all of that. It's awkward, but it's fine. We will manage post combat, classic post combat, Sorin plus Alicanter. Insidious Roots, alright, we are kind of going off, not really. I have one creature in my graveyard, so. Holy shit, Slither Hell is a plant. Well, I'm just scoped because it was too much for them, but all I would do is I would use the Cauldron, Exile Might, put a counter on. Probably one of the miners. Kill Sorin. Exile a land. Grab Giganta. But yeah, absolutely this deck just needs daily dispute. What are the worst cards? Well, it's Slitherhead. But Slitherhead is good to sacrifice. Let's get Sutter Wayfinder, one Lively Dirge, and one Slitherhead. This way the deck is perfect. We have six minutes to finish the match. We probably the last match in the prelim. Of course. Maybe some of the Survival Darks over Slither. Yeah, I guess that could be a better choice. Ruble Belt Mavericks. Do I put myself on the slow player list? The definition of the slow player list does not allow me to put myself put me put myself on, on it. Even in a spot like this. You have a license for that hairs, brother? Albo said you hair COT. I mean, hair is kind of funny against my deck. Once I have roots, then it doesn't actually function all that well as a hate card. So that's that's pretty funny. Path of Peril. I want to keep my shaman in my graveyard, so enjoy your extra mana. Actually, I could have end of turn, you know, that's probably a mistake. A tiny bit. For a swarm, good choices. Ay, ay, ay.
Cast Reaper, let's go. Ok. Oh. I see that my point is on with an excellent draw, but here I'm kind of similar. <clears throat> I don't have a mana. Ay ay ay. If I had a mana, I could commit a crime. Just like not let them hit my guy. See these roots kind of late for that. Anyway, well, late. I mean, hopefully, they'll just die to Giganta. Hi, Omega Lul Nir. It is, in fact, the format we're playing. Extinction event, okay. <coughs> Extremely efficient gigant answer. A random sideboard, sideboard cards incoming. Gravdiger's cage certainly is a choice that one could make. What's with the amount of Dracula decks today? Well, we are playing much one, so arguably not much. <clears throat> Opponent is triggering my roots for me. Lively dirge. Alright, that's a good one. Holy shit, that's awesome. I'm gonna get Priest of Forgotten Gods. Oh, it just gets one creature. Before I can. Search my deck for two creatures for some reason. Well, that's much less awesome than I thought. Oh well. Still pretty good, still a good top deck, but I guess that makes me lower on Lively Dirge. What's on Papango streaming and not safe for work? OTC Cockatrice. No thoughts. <clears throat> I mean, I actually, guess I actually do not have like particular thoughts on Mango streaming Cockatrice. Think even if they have a push, they can't. Stop me, I guess I can push a plant. Why don't they try to play around push? Because I forgot I can do that. When I thought even a push, they don't kill me. Also didn't think for too long, given that I have 1 minute 40 seconds on my clockeroni. That's just 30 pinch, I should even have 8 life. No, there is no creature on the battlefield. No, oh, whatever. Your move. Two bolts and high. I see, bro. I do see those lands in play, in fact. I'm perfectly aware of them. Which I guess they don't activate the valley land drop even, so... It's arguable if I should play around that. 
Also, I can definitely because I can't put a counter on my priest. Is the card Owen combo banned in Pioneer? It's decidedly not banned. Quite the opposite, it's legal. Kurva, no, yeah, no, yeah, pierdo, it's a teraz. Przegrałem chyba. I think we're dead. I mean, let's... I have 19 seconds. Okay, you win. <clears throat> so... We had leave for last turn if I actually fought a bit a little bit harder and... We tap the plant tokens, which have the death rate ability from Agatha's Soul Cauldron, exiling two of my opponent's spells, and then Priest would deal the last damage, and then they would fall down to zero. Unfortunately, I was... Uh, playing too quickly. This hand is a one-lander, so I'm going to die because I can't play my spells, so... I will decide against keeping it. This hand is a two lander. It seems pretty solid. Probably I'll put back Slither ahead. <clears throat> and I will lead on Death Right Shaman. I wanted to use the time between rounds to inspect the Nadu lists that top 8 at the first ever RCQ played with Modern Horizons free cards ever over in the America land. But there was no time between rounds, so I guess I will not get to do that. I'll set up roots and attack for one. Blooming Marsh, no Giganta pass. Is that mm, perhaps the mirror match? Okay, I was about to ask if that's maybe Grisfang. Turns out it is not. Let's play Tivar. And. Probably plus. Another roots, wow. When my opponent once my opponent pops off, they're really gonna pop off. They're gonna pop off hard. Lively dirge. Let's start by minusing my T var and hopefully hitting something. No kurva nic, no trafiłem, ja pierdole, jaki chujowy jest ten. Deck momentami. Now that was terrible. Two Nadu decks in top eight. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. I just wanted to look at them. Five mana cringe dirge. Get priest, right? Definitely would have loved a daily dispute over that. Holy shit, that's nice. And we can, like, use it? I don't return the Forsaken Miner immediately, but... I can use it. Maybe I shouldn't. T-Bar. Opponent is gonna hit priest first activation for sure. No, they also didn't hit anything. Holy shit. I guess Deadly Dispute is not a creature card, but it does dig you deeper, so you have more creatures present in your draw. So you're actually fine. Dark Boar Pathway. Okay, I think the only attack I'll perform this turn is the attack with the Forsaken Miner. On T bar. It is kind of funny how we meet in the O1 bracket with my opponent, but. Then 
let's add uh, green. Retain miner, make it plant. Duro, oh, forest, nice. Plus Tyvar, do it again. Duro, underground mortuary. Yeah. So what I I figured mill the fright Oh shit, Giganta Insta uh, tapped for mana, that's crazy. I play Tivar. They have Scrap Keep, Scranger, and Dusk World Recruiter. Well, that's a card advantageous card. Scranger makes some sense too. They have two mana. Black, black. Priest. Mm hmm. Suck the plants. I suck the miner. Spirit Antisan. That's it, pass. So maybe I'll exile my own shaman now. Mm. No, I prob probably better to exile instant sorcery from villain's graveyard. No, they don't have an instant or sorcery. Hmm. Alright, I'll exile their land to commit crime. Hello, Shaman Easter. Hello, Mr. Portable Poghead. I have so much mana and like nothing to spend it on. Turban Alonji, nie zajebisty draw. Naprawdę świetny. Nigdy się tak nie podjarałem jak teraz, jak dobrałem tego pierdzielonego ląda kolejnego. Miner, I barely knew her. Slitherhead. Untap Tivar, priest. Cast slither head. Activate priest. Sack sack. Return miner. You sacrifice. Actual blooming marsh. Ah, it's a dupe, yeah. Copies would be nice. Sure. Can make a lot of plantos. Yeah. Uh, so I either force a chumblog or kill Tivar. I think Tivar is probably better for my opponent than Fiend Artisan because haste could actually mean that they cobble something together, something meaningful.
So I'll attack the Jubilant Blorer. I'll attack face attack with the Shaman. Okay, that was actually the best. Whoops. Navigating creature combat moment. That would be better. Would leave my opponent with 5 life points and no Fiend Artisan. But I wouldn't get to trigger a Deathright Shaman end of turn to create plants, so... You know... That goes a long way too. No much Scrap Heaper, huh? Holy shit, Scrap Heap Scranger triggers things twice? It's awesome. We just need a lot of creatures. Do I have a plan against Vamps with this deck? Well, don't I? A free pick your poison on my sideboard. Solves the matchup. I guess I should have exiled as Kanjar. Why not? Would rather get a trigger myself. Let's draw a land. Thanks. Oh, that's not really a land, though. Come on. Okay, I think we're gonna win now. Miner, I barely knew her. Swamp? That's awesome. Discard Takenuma. Etern Tivar. MH3 is live tomorrow evening. I don't know why they like wait this long, really. But it feels like years have already passed since they promised us MH3. And it just is never, never actually happening. All in a SRAM plant tooth. Now on to killing them with the Deathrite Shan, but seems like they scooped first. So a mirror match. Haywire might seem valuable. And that's kind of it. Mm. Is Fatal Push actually decent? <laughs> a little bit. Probably pick your poison to ooze. I don't think so. I think Lively Dirge is more like Lively Cringe. I mean, I could... I mean, hmm. Do I have removal for roots and I can lose, I guess? Yeah, maybe it's good. And it's like an ability that I can mill over with Cold Run. I cut one push. And I'll cut the Slither Heads for being Giga Weak. If tournament Sandra 
If tournament centre around one of their destination RCQ things in London, do you think you will go canister? Not this season, I won an RCQ a week ago, so... I no longer need to. Had I been actively pursuing a qualification, perhaps. Death right Sean old border, that just looks wrong. I guess Shaman on Shaman is pretty awkward. Oh, Blooming Marsh. Okay. Soul Cauldron. Hmm. Well, I'll probably play out my... Suppliers. Milled over a miner, which I can remove. Milled over a haywire mite. Opponent sacrifices an artifact. Your move. It is unfortunate that pick your poison is not a crime. Unfortunately printed in... Holy shit, Fodsies. Printed in... Murders at Carlo Manor instead of Outlaws at Thunder Junction. So it's unplayable in this spot. They exiled my pathway and they are playing a T-bar. <clears throat> Middle three cards, then return nothing. Oh no, they have a supplier. I'll just not attack. <gasps> Stitcher supplier. Very a deadly dispute. Was always the best card in Ragdos Sack. Really. At least what I felt like. Excited to have access to it in this uh, deck. Fiend Artisan. Fiend Artisan, on the other hand, looks utterly, absolutely giga trash max. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, on to figuring out what is gonna my turn look like. Mm hmm Any attacks? Uh. Miner, attack, T-Bar. Kind of, you know, not really able to do much. Simple block. Poly guacamole. Shaman is gonna exile what? Their own supplier? My pick your poison. I accept. I guess I'll exile my oh, I have a scavenging goose here. I'll exile my death right shaman. To make plants. To nullify the 
Death Right Shaman's effect. We have a boss edge ready to interact with Roots. Here comes Roots. So I'll do it immediately so they don't have an option to make more, more plants. And by more plants I mean any plants really. Oh wow, the anti Bosaju underground mortuary technology. Solid. Does seem like Agatha's soul cauldron is quite unreliable. And this matchup with Death Right Shamans on both sides of the battlefield, the opponent will just have a Death Right Shaman every time. So the one way to trump that is you have plenty of roots in play to trigger your shit many times. What a headache. Might. Hey, right. When did that happen? Nine, nine. Oh, it's gonna be back to an eight, eight soon. Ooze. Holy moly. Well, that's probably one of the better does. Kind of trumps the ooze. Good block. Eleven life points for my opponent. Is it at all possible that this deck wants to play some pillage the bog? I don't think so. What I do think we want to play is Deadly Dispute, which I already added to my world build. But we have to play the problem without it, because I entered without it. I don't know, Deadly Dispute it would just help tie everything together and help draw all the stuff we need. As well as putting some extra creatures into play into graveyard rather where they subsequently can do stuff because like in spots like this you you draw like a forsaken miner and the card doesn't do shit that's a bit troublesome it's you know kind of a blank draw step I mean, they have a priest, but like, what does it do? Also, somehow they aren't revealed for second minor ever for the entire match. Maybe they don't even play it. Could be. I should sacrifice the supplier. Oh no, my assignment. Still, I think they die. The fourth is a little bit of an odd choice, I think. We have all the crucial pieces, but just one land. No i co mam kurwa zrobić, no nie wiem. Kiwnąć to mam gówno? Probably not. After all, we have merely, merely 21 lands in the deck. What I got for Delhi Dispute? I had Lively Dirge, which didn't impress me yet. I got a land. And... A push was moved to the sideboard, I guess. Alright, I'll keep because the payoff is just 
extremely high, I think. Like this being a land, and this is a perfect hand. Mill, land, land, dirge. Holy guacamole, should have played a slither head. Let's go. You milled priest, which is useful with my so called run. So once we get a second land, we really pop off. Ketria and Rootbound Krag is pretty wild. I don't know what that is exactly. I wonder if Slitherhead was a rubble belt, if you would have put Pathway on green to get the Survel 2. I probably would, yeah. How is this deck's mono green leyline matchup? That's a good question, probably not great. Ooh, Beanstalk, that's just... Uh, Quintorius. Would it be worth to fit a skeleton and the dog in the deck for the combo? Perhaps, but I don't understand that combo, so that's a huge argument against including it. So I think it's called Draw Spit Skeleton or something like that. Or something wrote Moss Pit. So if one or more counters are put on a creature you control, if Mospit Skeleton is in your graveyard, you may put Mospit Skeleton on top of your library. So it just goes, shoop, shoop, I see, I see. So you have the Survel Dog, this, and Roots, and it's just infinite plants. It also has an alchemy version. Return Mospit Skeleton from your graveyard to your hand at the beginning of the next end step? Wow, why did they nerf it? Why do I feel like they have to nerf it? Nerf the combo. Will Villain deploy a Quint Origin kill me? Seems like they're tapping 5 mana, so they're gonna play Quint Origin Quant. Discover 4. Spark double. Hmm, okay. Now, if I activate my Stitcher Supply really quickly, then it's gonna be good. Gonna be fine. Spine was Armadillo. This card is sick. An OTJ Limited. A 7 7 reach ward free. Dominates many boards. Now that's a Giruda build too. Minus 15k. I see many confused about that. It's not actually minus 15k. I have a bot connected to the skip song function so that it skips from my account. Like it, it makes it so that my account types a message skip song every time that happens. Which then prompts MTG bot to skip the song. So actually it's two bots working together in unison. Let's cut Lively Dirge for being cringe. Let's add Fotsis for having minimal impact on the game. And let's cut Fatal Push for... Oh, Kurva. I guess I have to keep more cards in my deck. I don't have more cards. Haywire Might can hit Leyland Binding, which I didn't even... I don't think they even play. They play the Giruda version, so they probably don't. Let's just play the Dirge then. It's like the most on plan tool. Sliman, kiedy skończy się ten stan? Bo wiedzie biały węgorz. A nie w Alpy. Nic nie psiknę. Quintorius. Seems like not the best matchup. O kurwa, ale łapsko. With this hand, Quintorius is definitely not a good matchup. This hand is a one-lander again. 
Can you get a better one on five or is carving nothing into... Nothing, I guess. Now well, this hand has a plan. It's pretty hard to keep two Foxes, though. I feel like I can only keep one. To, like, assemble something. I have a feeling this deck cannot beat Lotus or Quintorius. It does have an infinite combo, which is not that hard to assemble. But it's also not that easy to assemble. But you can definitely beat them if you assemble it. We mailed Freelance for what it's worth, so... The Essential Sky, Stitcher Suppler, Experience, ETB, Do Nothing, Play 1-1. One, one. Already be on Mulgan to 5 because your card quality is shit. So why, why is it always like that chat, right? You might wonder, but then you realize, well, it's just how life is. Stormcloud Vanguard, co to jest za gówno? Jakiś niedźwiedź? And they have two monsters, so it's not like I can do anything. Did they not reveal Karuga game one to trick me? Is Quinn like a real deck in Pioneer or still weird? It's a bit weird. My opponent's build is like not the stock Leyline Binding build either. It's a little bit of a different twist on that. But it's not bad. It's like a decent deck for sure. <sighs> Trumpeting Carnosaur, Kiruda Doom of Depths, Doom, Kiruda Doom of Depths, Kurva, no, nie wiem, I'd... discarding those cards doesn't do anything. Casting a fourth season, a multi play, multi five on the play, playing two insidious roots, which is also not the best. So, like, the issue is that I have no good top deck now. With Deadly Dispute, I would have at least a good top deck to find. Rather, like, something that would be capable of being a good top deck. Deadly Dispute into two spells. Tyvar is kind of a good top deck, but it's like Tyvar hit Priest. Otherwise, it's just kind of blank too. I guess it's not too bad. I have Giganta too, which I forgot about, but we can remedy the mistake. I guess I would have been able to cast Giganta. This turn if I played my Bosejo and grabbed it. Come on, block you fool. Blocking seems so bad here. Like literally, the only way to lose is to block. Because I play Giganta anyways. Okay. I guess maybe blocking wasn't so bad for them because I could have played T bar minus hit the priest and then I actually get a priest activation on their Karuga. Not that anything matters ever. The priest activation draws me a fault season, I fought season away Tramedy Karnazor and they play Geruda which misses. I then on top and I perform some actions and they fail to draw anything and I win. Yeah, that's how the game could go. This deck seems really hard. This black green root stack seems really hard, but also like in a way that more so punishes you. Constantly, rather than rewarding you. 
Holy shit, chat decks like this are so bad. Heavy synergy, that's just such a bad way to build your decks. Yeah, Wall of Roots. Wall of Roots is good. Dryad Arbor seems like a must to me. If you if you lean into Outrider, you can actually have pitch elementals be your two times two time uses monsters. Can pitch a solitude, outrider it twice. Not bad, right? And if you can, like, just pass it in with two flares up, then I'll just, I'll, I'll just feel perfectly fine. Tevar could get spell pierced. And I have no creatures in my graveyard. Am I gonna play some Nadu tomorrow? I will likely not stream tomorrow. So no, but Wednesday, sure. I'll play Nadu and eat home. Is my thought. Will I play some Nadu today? I will not. How would I? I'm one too, that's much for the problem. Oops. Well, minus one, minus two damage. Spell pierce me, brother. Thanks. I guess I keep this on top. I will not play any more matches today after this prelim, so Deadly Dispute will actually never make it into my list, not today. But the vote will be on my vote channel. Can I mail anything that's good? Slitherhead? Maybe some other time I retry this deck with disputes. Was such a supply is actually ever good? Was it even good in the Hogak decks? I think it was pretty good in the Hogak decks, right? It had Hogak, Bloodgast, Vengevine, Grave Crawler to mill over. That's a solid crew. Yeah, the 1 1 Convoked, yeah. Can't win this game, I'll just have nothing. Like, I, I have no good card I can draw. What does it have to mill in this deck? So, like, to gain insta value, you have slither ahead and forsaken minus. You just have too little stuff, that's why it sucks in this deck. Okay. Makes sense. So it's not the supplier, it's the, it's the deck. And now I'll cut Slum Slither Heads to make it even worse because that's how we roll. Only 27% of starting hands have a scam start. Um, tell that to my opponents. But yeah, I would absolutely play the one drop Necrogoyf. Nethergoyf. Necrogoyf. 
the one drop guy. One drops are in fact good. You would even play Goyf over Ragavan. Wow, that's some like extreme Ragavan hatred, but I would love to play first, keep a shit hand that contains no spells that do anything. Oh, that's actually pretty good, so let's not lose our spirit yet. This is actually two lands, five spells, it's, you know. Forsaken Miner feels like a Mulgan whenever you draw it. Like, it's good to have in your graveyard, but it's never good to draw. That's a bit of a problem with this deck, and... Deadly Dispute would be a tiny bit of a way to solve it, because you can sacrifice your Miner for the value and without much loss then. Sather to melee land for DRS, yeah. Perfect. We melee sliver head though. How can it feel? I play roots. Whoa. Negate. Let's save Slitherhead for now. Negate. Now Anger of the Gods me, bro. In a true interactor fashion. Club. I called on. Curious. I should pre combat that then. Well, I wouldn't get an attack with the Saturn anyway, so it's actually the same. Okay. I think I missed up. Should have a Lanoir Wastes untapped. Species, species, species man. Ah, shock. Okay. No, my slither head. The slither head missing means that I am crucially lacking a counter. Imagine an Ashuk activation if I had roots in play though. I would dot 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 make a plant. Although I just remembered wow just suck it to mill four. You Ah, oh, myself makes sense. Is that cruise casting? Insidious Roots reminds me of the elation I have felt when I first used it in Limited to put a counter on Topire Panther, Panther, which turns out to be Plant Cat 6 5 Trample for 6. Because it puts a counter on every each plant you control and not only token plants. And I was like, wow, holy guacamole. This is just beyond what I dreamed of. And I hasn't been dreaming of much. Spire Bluff Canal. 
I exile treasure cruise to gain its activated abilities. Do I think Ragavan will make his way into Pioneer at some point? Uh, I don't think so. Do you? If we're talking infinite time, hmm. Then, what, like, once they make Micro Pioneer, I guess. Aragavan Pioneer would mean it'd be standard legal too at some points. Well, not if they say that it's legal. You know, they can just, it's their game, they can do anything, right? And just say no, no, don't worry. It's legal. It's legal. It's legal. And it's legal. You can play it. All roots gone, but we don't need them. They have a free damage sweeper, I will simply die. You may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to activate abilities of creatures you control. That's actually pretty good to use. Why are you fey? Do you think they will keep creating new non-rotating formats every 10 years? I think... Yes, but also... Things will be changing too in ways that we can't fathom just now. And maybe in ways that we don't like. Lively Dirge is gonna be pretty decent for the first time in history. Actually, I don't know. Pass. <sighs> no, no, not sleight of hand. Oh, no, not treasure cruise. Oh, no, not opt. We won. I guess. Soul Cauldron hates on Phoenix a little, bit, a little bit. Even adds a counter to my monster. Take your poison, I think. It's good to kill Drake. I have failed pushes for that. I don't know if they'll even board in the drag, seems not necessarily the greatest. I think it was lethal on board, they had nothing by putting the death right ability under cauldron. Fair. Tava Shaderka na drugom. No i chuj, my pushes are useless now. Ah, triple push. Come on! I predict in ten years, in vin ten years, vintage still exists. Legacy and modern will fuse in one big format where reserved He's list cards are banned. Pioneer will take How modern's like place and become the most important non-rotating format. Standard is now four years worth of set. CDH is now a pro tour format. Is that your prediction or a copy pasta? How do I like this deck? It's mostly misery.
It's a little bit of a synergistic deck and those are just kind of bad and frustrating to play when your opponent kills your things and you don't have actually synergies, you just have singular monsters that fail to do anything. Holy shit, here comes the Drake. Cheap monster, please. Nice fetal push. No roots. Holy guacamole. That's a very fitting song. I've got no roots. Rezon Chag, thank you very much for this request. It has cracked me up. Good job. Ashok. Mill the Phoenix, how lucky. Okay, I just try creature now. Oh, sorry, best I can do is roots. Oh! Song no longer relevant. Now. <laughs> It's sad, suddenly we have an, another song that's also kind of fitting. Roots, bloody roots, bloody roots. 10 power on the drag, 9 power on the drag, 10 power on the drag, roots, bloody roots, 11 power on the drag, 12 power on the drag, 13 power on the drag, axe discard phoenix is lethal. What would I change about the deck? For Dispute, I would add Deadly Dispute, yes. That's how I would play it the next time. Not sure if Rubble Belt Maverick is not a little bit too shitty and maybe something better is needed. I don't like Supplier, would like 4 Seed of Hope instead. You need creatures. Seed of Hope. Sounds pretty cool too, though. But you need creature cards for roots, you need creature cards and creatures for Agatha, Soul Cauldron and T-Bar. You need creatures for Priest. Seed of Hope. Yeah, maybe. Bro, don't cut Supplier, no. Don't do that. Cut... Cut something else, but don't cut Supplier. Cut the Satyrs. Sutter seems better than Seed of Hope though. Especially as a thing you can sacrifice to Deadly Dispute. No, poświęcaj tego Drake'a. O kurwa, Lively Dirge. Spell pierce me now. Oops, almost clicked no. We wanted to click Dawn. Holy shit, popped off. Yes, we made a plant. We are indeed popping off. 
And now I have O's for two more triggers. Actually, that's pretty good. Actually, pretty real. You can see that our opponent's hand is just barely standing still on their shoulders. It's about to explode, I mean. Young Pyromaster, I accept that. Is it in my interest to push it immediately? Let's say this. To save pushes for drags. The drags are dead to my priests activation. Kinda. Oh. Uh -huh. Violent crime, violent crime. Akish, Akish. Yes, I am planning to suck my own priest for a Giga Priest activation max. I know. You can target self with the priest's ability, it's any number of target players. So now I cast priest, well cast, I activate priest, so I will target self and villain, suck this and the wayfinder I think, mill free, mill over roots, Sacrifice the priest while they sacrifice the elemental token. Draw a an overgrown tomb. Where's my priest? Here it is. Why is it on top of my graveyard? Violent crime, violent crime. Villain is currently considering their options and realizing that there is not nothing, nothing they can do. We have assembled the almost lethal combination of Insidious Roots and Agassa's Soul Cauldron to just spiral value bury them. Now every single one of my plants is a priest. And I'll spend a black mana to exile a supplier from my graveyard. There's no force and miners available in my graveyard. It's not infinite. It would be infinite with a force and miner or two. I'm not sure. But it's lethal. Like, I can just attack them for 15, right? After they sacrifice their blocker. Holy shit, a second cauldron? That changes not much, honestly. What do you think about the card Deadly Brew? I think I'll need to read this one. Deadly Brew. It returns roots, but feels too wonky. Feels a bit too wonky to actually work so we deal 17 23 to their 12th
Got it. I stalled like three out of four rounds of this prelim only to get my 2 2 result and a tiny bit of chests, by which I mean one chest and minus 100 play points. So I bleed it a little bit of Valua. I will probably bird Maverick and Deadly Dispute. This deck will just find its footing in every game easily. Every single time, so. I am not worried about the future of this deck, in fact, I am looking forward to it. What a prelim. It's not much more to stream.